Here, for example, is a self-portrait that Harry took as part of that photographic project. In 1964, Harry Crosby had left his job as a science teacher at La Jolla High School to pursue photography full-time when he was given a magazine assignment. Photograph parts of Tijuana that went beyond the beaten tourist trail. Crosby went on to capture over 700 photographs of a city that's strikingly familiar in its lively street scenes, but still mostly foreign to modern viewers. What was a small border city has now become a large metropolis. It's interesting um, if you visit today to see, you know, to, and reflect on what you see that was in there in 1964 and what has evolved and changed. These are photographs of the border crossing. Heath Fox is the executive director of the La Jolla Historical Society, where the photos will be on display from this weekend through May. The city has grown tremendously. The population of Tijuana in 1964 was about 235,000 people. Today it's over 1.8 million. The photos capture a city caught mid-transition from a tourist destination to an industrial powerhouse, with dirt roads leading to informal housing and new buildings devoted to providing social services to the city's growing population. In one photo, a street vendor reads the newspaper by lamplight, apparently unfazed by Crosby's gaze. The show also includes a companion exhibition from young photographers, with the group Outside the Lens. Over the summer, the student photographers went to Tijuana to document the city as it is today. You know, this is photojournalistic street photography that the students did in response to the way Harry had uh, done it half a century ago. Since their limited initial publication in the 60s, the photos have found new life in recent years. They've been embraced and displayed on both sides of the border. The photographer, now in his 90s, plans on attending the show's opening on Friday night. I don't think he thought the photographs were really going to have a, a big life after that, the way they did. Uh, at the time, I think he thought, well, they'll, they'll, pub, they'll pick the ones they want for the magazine and that'll be the end of it. Wasn't the case, though. Max Rivlin-Adler, KPBS News.